You're listening to the Intuitive Souls Podcast. I am your host, Tara Caruso, and this podcast is designed to educate, inspire, and enlighten. Let's wake up together. and welcome to the Intuitive Souls Podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Super excited that the universe led you here. If you are an OG and you keep on coming back, you keep listening and expanding your consciousness and developing your intuition and your psychic skills and just being the badass lightworker that you are, I fucking love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for all of your love and support. You guys make this so easy for me and so much fun. And if this podcast is helping you, if it's giving you the conversations that you need to hear, the tips and tools that are helping you along your spiritual journey, if you can take a minute and head on over to iTunes to write a review, those reviews allow me to get this podcast, get these shows to the ears that need to hear it. But before you go ahead and click submit, Make sure you take a picture or a screenshot and send it to me at hello at ericarusso.co, no M, and I am going to send you my soul alignment activation for free as a thank you because I know how busy life gets and you taking that time out, I really do appreciate it and I love you guys. So, for right, so, I don't know, I haven't really done a, a episode where I just kind of like did a checkup with myself in a while, actually. So it feels like when I'm doing this, because I batch my episodes, (laughs) I feel like this is like, it's been a hot minute since I've just sat down and spoke with you guys, spoke with what's going on in my life, what's going on, and just give you basically an update of everything that is going on. So we're we're doing an update episode, guys. I'm going to talk about all the things that are happening behind the scenes, all the things that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So much is going on. I'm so fucking excited for it. So the first thing that I want to share is that I am now a a facilitator of breath work, okay? You might have listened. I think I've spoken very briefly about breath work on some of the other episodes. Um, I've spoken about it on Instagram and everything like that, but... I am really excited to be sharing this tool, so to speak, because it's not really a healing modality, it's a tool with the world. So a little bit about my backstory with breathwork is I've always heard about it. Um, I've I've heard about it through the years, um, but I was never really guided to try it, so to speak. Um, And then quarantine happened. March happened, 2020 happened, and I we were all in quarantine, and some way or another, I came across a post about free breathwork classes that are being offered via Zoom through Revelation Breathwork, and I was like, oh, let me try it, what the hell, right? Guys, when I tell you, my first breathwork class was one of the most probably, I would say the most intense healing spiritual experience I have ever experienced in my life. It was absolutely incredible. I cried like a baby. I was just so, I was just so overwhelmed with the experience that I just became completely hooked. And Every time I was able to get another class in, I would, and I just became obsessed with it. And it has been such a shift. I don't want to, not really a shift, but like such a massive tool in my own healing journey. And I knew that this was something that you might have heard of it. You might have, you know, you might, maybe you never heard of it. This is such a powerful tool to use not just for healing purposes, but for intuitive practices, spiritual connection that I was like, I need, I need to learn how to do this for people. Like 
this needs to be more out there. This is for everybody. This is not just for the spiritual community, guys. This is for people that suffer from PTSD. This is for people that suffer from depression and anxiety. It is incredible. And so I became facilitated. And now I will be offering weekly classes. So the classes are going to be $20 and they're going to be um, starting the week of August 31st. Okay. You do, they're going to be $20. This is going to be fantastic. I'm really excited about this. So that is for that. Um, and if you are interested in staying up to date with when the classes are, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out different times and days to see what works for most people, right? I know that, you know, I have listeners in New Zealand, I have listeners in England, so everybody is all over the world, and I'm going to try different times and days to see if it can work with the majority. So you do want to stay up to date. You want to head on over to ericarusso.co and get on my email list, which is right in my front page. You will get a free download for tools to help, 15 tools to help you develop your intuition, which is awesome. And then you'll be added to my email list. So you will stay up to date on when I'm having a sale, when I'm going to be offering a free breathwork class, when my breathwork classes are, all of that great stuff. So be sure to do that. Or you can head on over to Instagram, check out the link in my bio and you can sign up there as well. But that's probably the easiest way to stay up to date with everything. I will also be posting the um, monthly circles on my Instagram as well. So you can follow me there. So yeah, I will be offering classes and I've also added some stuff to my roster, which I'm really excited about. I will be offering one-on-one -on -one breathwork classes as well as a healing package. Now this healing package, I'm really, really fucking excited about. This is my one hour session combined with a breathwork session. So massive shifts, massive transformation with that package. I cannot wait. That's, I'm like so excited to do both because I see, I, I just think it's going to be magical. So that's what is going to be offered. I'm, I'm so excited because I actually had to take off my um, readings off my website for a while just because of time constraints and quarantine and just having the kids at home and everything. So those those sessions will be back up shortly. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you get on my email list, you're going to be up to date when everything is running smoothly. Again, I'm really excited to, you know, offer my readings back up because it's been a hot minute, but yeah, I'm excited for it. So that is breath work. Again, I am offering one-on-one, -on -one, a healing package, as well as weekly breath work classes. So be sure to tune into those. Um, and then, oh, let's talk about Ayurveda, my Ayurveda journey. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I did an episode where I talked about how I was triggered on the internet by someone who not only bashed me on one platform, but two platforms. And it kind of triggered a whole spiral into my, my own healing when it comes to self-image and food and my relationship with food and that. And, you know, I've tried all the things. I've done Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, all of that stuff. And it really never stuck. And I felt guided to look into Ayurveda. So I found an Ayurveda specialist and she was so sweet and so knowledgeable with everything. And she basically gave me a full report on what I need to do to balance out my doshas. And I'm, I'm going to admit that Ayurveda is definitely not like your typical mainstream dietitian by any means. Like, but I'm, it's very interesting and it's very spiritual based. So a lot of it, you know, obviously a lot of it is the food that I'm intaking, but a lot of it is uh, incorporating yoga poses and mantras and, and all of that stuff. It really is kind of a, it's a combination of mind, body, and spirit kind of wellness, which I, which I'm enjoying very much. So, um, 
I've only really been sticking to it for about a week, so I don't really want to get too into it and tell you the benefits that I have been receiving because, you know, I'm, I'm still new to this kind of lifestyle. So, uh, you know, within a month or so, I'm definitely going to do a checkup episode and tell you guys about what's going on and how I'm feeling and all of the things when it comes to Ayurveda. But for now, let's just say it is quite a different approach in in what I'm used to, but I'm liking it. I really am liking it, and I can't wait to, you know, go a little deeper in so I could share more with you. So that is that. Now, another thing that I want to talk about today is going within, okay, going within. Now, I, I, I know I talk about it a lot because, you know, that's that's my jam, but Right now, where we are in our current circumstances in the world, there is some really dense, heavy energy. There are a lot of shifts happening, a lot of change happening. And although it's definitely needed, we need to brace ourselves. <laughs> it's just, I just want to say, you know, astrologically, there is a lot going on. Um, August what isn't as bad as what July and June was, but there's just so much going on, guys. There is so much, and it's. I see that it's not only taking a toll on all of us and our mental and emotional well-being, but it is taking a toll on our kids, too. I'm noticing it with my own kids, and I'm trying to bring in some mindfulness practices with them and everything. And I just feel for everybody right now. It is just, it is, I don't like the 2020. What the fuck, man? Like what the fuck? This is insane. It's just insane. And I just want to bring that reminder to, to let you know that you always have a safe place within yourself to, go to with everything that's going on with the politics, with Corona, with everything that's just going on in the world. Just always remember that you have a sacred place that resides within all of us that you can always vacation to, if that makes any sense. And we get so wrapped up in everything that's happening around us, right? We, we, we get so wrapped up, and if, especially if you're an empath, well, first off, we're all empaths. We all have that ability to feel the emotion of others as well as the energy that is with is out in the world, but you know, if you are sensitive, you're probably sensitive if you're listening to this. Just remember to go within. Give yourself that break. We're going to drive ourselves crazy if we just keep on listening to the news and and reading all of this stuff that's going on in the world. We're going to drive ourselves mad, okay? Go within. Go within, go within, go within. Allow yourself that, okay? I know that a lot of my listeners are moms and kids are home and it's just a shit show and everything, but... The best thing that you can do for yourself right now is put yourself first. It is not selfish to put yourself first. It is not selfish. It's actually selfless because when you put yourself first, you're giving a better level version of yourself to your kids, to your husband, to the people that you love, to the world in general. Okay. Don't ever think that it's selfish to take a hot minute to go and get your nails done or to go and find some time to meditate and be by yourself. Don't ever think that. That is a story that we keep on telling ourselves. Moms are humans too. Sorry, you know, like, I'm sorry. Like that's, it's the truth. We are humans too. We require a level of own self care and self love that we have to give ourselves. Okay. I, I'm not the perfect mom by any means, but it was when I decided there's a lot of power when we decide, okay, not try, but decide that we need to put our own mental, emotional, and physical well-being first. Everyone wants to, right? Everyone 
says they want to, you know, start doing something for themselves. But let's not try. Let's decide. There's a lot more power in deciding to put yourself first and your needs first than just trying to. We, we try to do so much. And that was something, that's actually something that I learned from one of my mentors where she's just like, we all try. We all try to do this. We all try to lose weight. We all try to be better parents. We all try to be more spiritual. But there is a big ass difference between trying and deciding. And when she said that, I was like, shit, you're right. You're right. Beyonce didn't try to become Beyonce. She decided that she was going to be Beyonce. Oprah didn't try to be Oprah. She decided to be Oprah. The Rock, you know, he is the highest paid actor in Hollywood. He didn't try to be the highest paid actor. He decided to be. Big difference. Decide today to put yourself first and see how everything else falls into place. You know, when I started putting myself first, I noticed the shift immediately in my kids. I noticed the shift immediately in my husband. When you shine brighter, everything around you gets brighter. So just remember that. And that was definitely something that I just channeled because I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about talking about that. So I hope that gets to the right person. Um, but yeah, so guys, that's, ugh, what a shit show this has been. Like what, like, just, just give me a break 2020. Like I'm canceling my subscription, please. <laughs> like, Oh my God, but you guys, we're in this together. We're in this together, all right? So if you can take anything from this episode, it's one, get on my email list so you can know when these breathwork classes are. I think they can help. Trust me when I tell you. I, if you are feeling the feelings, if you are really having a hard time with everything going on, these sessions are just exactly what you need. And, and the thing with breath work is what I realize is that you're going to have the experience that you need to have at that moment, if that makes any sense. It's like a nice big dose of healing in whatever, in whatever sense that healing is for you. So get on my email list, come to one of my classes. I would love to connect with you guys. I have, I love connecting with you guys. Like, I hope you guys know that. Like, I had a couple of people who listened to the podcast come, and I just like seeing you guys. Like, I, I see the downloads and everything like that, but it's like, oh my God, there's humans. There's humans listening to me. This is so exciting. So yeah, definitely try to come to one of my classes. I'm really excited about it. I love creating the playlist. I love connecting with you guys. It has been an amazing time this week. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited for it. I'm actually going to be taking a day or two off to really go within and channel some guided meditations for the upcoming round of the Align Light Academy, as well as some stuff for the Modern Mystic Society. I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, that's really it for now, guys. I love you. I'm sending you so many good vibes. I hope everyone's doing well during these crazy times and I will see you soon.